Hi, it's social media communications and web video trainer Kerry Shearer, and today I am at a typical conference room. This is a conference room where maybe you'd be making a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation a, or a speech in front of a room full of people. Well, I want to show you how you can connect your iPhone and your iPad to the projection system in the room to be able to put those up on the screen. For example, maybe you've got some photos that you want to show. Maybe on your tablet you've got a keynote presentation. That's the Apple equivalent of PowerPoint. Uh, to be able to put that up on the big screen and show it, it is super easy. You just need a couple of connectors from the Apple Store. Actually, just one of them for your phone or for your iPad, depending on what kind of connector you have on your device. Here's how you do it. So here at the podium, this is the laptop computer right here, and the VGA connector is right in the back, and this plugs into the video projector in the room. All you do is you remove it from the laptop, and then you get your lightning connector from the Apple Store for your phone, and plug it in. It's always a good idea to secure it to the connector, like that, so it is uh, nice and tight. This is a lightning connector that you see. It's this very small plug, and this goes with iPhone and I, uh, iPhone 5s and 6s, and then also with a newer model of iPad. So to put your iPhone into the projector system, you simply plug it in, and you are projecting into the system. And of course, you also need to plug in the audio. So usually right along with this, there is an audio plug that feeds into the system. So you simply put it in, and there you are, you are set to go. Now, if you have an older iPhone with the 30 pin connector, you're going to need one of the other adapters here. And this is what they look like. This is the 30 pin connector, and you can see it's very wide, very flat. You're familiar with it if you've got an older model iPhone, like a 4 or a 4S, or an older model iPad, like the iPad 1, iPad 2, or the new iPad. Uh, that came out with uh, Retina. I think that was version 3. So once again, it is the same. You simply take that, put it in there, secure it just a little bit by closing those screws there so it's nice and tight, and then take your connector and put it into your iPhone. Now obviously I've got a newer model iPhone so it won't fit, but you go in like that and again remember to connect the audio to it. And that is going to project your phone or your tablet through the main system here in the room. Now I need to point out that these adapters are not inexpensive. The Lightning to VGA adapter is actually $49 at the Apple Store, and the 30-pin to VGA adapter is $39. But I think as a well-equipped communicator, it's great to have the right cable with you for any situation. So if you have the opportunity to be able to display graphics or videos or presentations from your iPad or your iPhone, you've always got the right connector in your kit with you so you can do that. Hope you found this helpful. Feel free to email me any questions. If you're watching this video anywhere else but on my blog, please head on over to carryshearer.com. That's where we can connect, and I've got a lot of resources and tools and other information there for you. Thanks for watching.